Hello, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Lord, I just pray your message gets across and those that need to hear will hear and open their ears and their eyes and their heart to receive your word, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so I had received a dream at night and I was praying to the Lord, is this about me or is this about another person? And in that process, I received uh, Micah chapter 3, verse 5, and kind of going down to verse 8. And before I get into the dream, I will be reading the verse so you guys have some kind of contents to uh, relate to the dream that I'm sharing. <clears throat> Thus saith the Lord God, Concerning the prophets that make my people error, they bite with their teeth and cry peace. And he that putteth not into their mouths... And they even prepare war against him. Therefore night shall be unto you, and that ye shall not have a vision. And it shall be dark unto you, that ye shall not divine. And the sun shall go down over the prophets, and the day shall be dark over them. Then shall the seers be ashamed, and the diviners confounded. Yea, they shall all cover their lips, for there is no answer of God. But truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgressions, and to Israel his sins. Alright? So the dream started off, and uh, basically we're in this door, and I believe there's these other people there, and someone was wanting to steal something. And so I was like looking at this... Um, I guess, what is it, a uh, VHS uh, tape recorder that records uh, television programs and all that stuff. <clears throat> so one guy decided to steal, and all the alarms go off, so all the other guys start, start scrambling and running. I start running, I was like thinking about s stealing the recorder and all that, but I was like, I just got to get out of here. And um, the one thing I do want to stop and note is... Uh, I've actually heard of people doing this in the body of Christ. They'll actually steal other people's words and record them as their own words. And I've, I've seen, I've heard of this happening. They'll actually take somebody else's words, claim their, that they got those words from God when they haven't. So continuing on in the dream, so everybody's running. And at that point, um, I remember two old bosses from my old job, and they basically like locked the place down so we get a picture of everybody's name, I uh, face or whatever I don't remember what. And <clears throat> as I'm running away, I remember like guys yeah, like, are they overreacting? And it's like, I remember thinking they got is like 29% overreacting, I guess, or something to that effect. I don't know. And, um, <clears throat> but they locked the place down. As I'm going about, um, how, and it's starting to get dark out. This, um, in the dream about darkness, okay? And it shall be dark, uh, unto you, and you shall not divine. The sun shall go, shall go down over the prophets. So it was getting dark out, even though I was helping other people. And the one thing is, is then I was actually helping Santa Claus. And if anybody knows, Santa Claus is a representation, actually, of Satan. And at that point, I basically was fell asleep in the dream. And that was the end of the dream there. But I think I was kind of showing me is like, that's kind of like the process of what happens to somebody that's always crying peace or that's trying to steal other people's words. Because in verse 8 it says, Truly I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord, and of judgment of might, to declare unto Jacob his transgressions, and to Israel his sins. <clears throat> I think, uh, what is it, oftentimes there are uh, people that try to steal other people's words. Then there are people in the body of Christ that say, cry, peace, peace, but I want to get back into verse 5 where it says, They bite with their teeth and cry peace. So when they're biting with their teeth, the guy was kind of showing me, is like they're not speaking the full word, the full truth. 
they're holding back. All right, they know what the truth is. And so not speaking, they cause the people to error, saying, oh, everything's good, everything's all right. You know, and it's like, it's not all right, because we're, we got a lot of sin in this world. And I just want to say, hey, if someone's always speaking peace, be careful about that. Uh, they may be somebody that's erred and gone off into the wrong path. They may be a witch. <laughs> They may just be completely a new Christian and not know anything about God. And so they still got a lot to learn. So I'm just putting that out there. But yeah, if someone's always crying peace, peace, peace. They're going to be into darkness, darkness, darkness. And if they're not growing in Christ, I feel sorry for them. I do. But may this God bless you. And remember, we do got to speak about the sins of this world. They're out there. And yeah, I just feel like I got to speak a few things on the sins. A few sins to mention is, yeah, abortion's wrong. A few other sins to mention. Um, this is kind of some of, one of my things is we have a culture that thinks it's okay for a man and a woman not married to live together and have sex. That just seems to be the norm across the country. And when that's something that's the norm across the country, and then you have all the abortion, it's the norm across the country. You just have all that sin. And then you're not even talking about all the Satanists in there and all the other religion stuff and all the Christ, so-called Christians that aren't even Christian. They're distorting the gospel and saying, peace, peace. Let's face it, we have a lot of sin that we need to repent of and turn back to the Lord. And that's just the way it is. God bless you all. Amen.